Spirit Sports Consultants presents our weekly NFL picks. Here with more details, we turn it over to our analyst team. Gentlemen, what do we have for the week? Let's start out with a Thursday game. Chargers at the Raiders. Both teams coming off very unimpressive performances. Raiders played a tight, if not ugly, game against the Vikings. Had a decent chance to win it. So we like the home team here, especially if Justin Herbert doesn't play. Take the Raiders here 21-17. Looking at the Vikings at the Bengals again, the Vikings with quarterback issues. Joshua Dobbs getting benched during that dismal 3 to nothing game over the Raiders. We think the home team's got the advantage here. We think Browning continues to impress. Two straight games, very impressive. We like the Bengals here. We're going to take them 27-20 over the Vikings. And next up, we've got the Steelers at the Colts and Indy. Looking at both teams' performances this past week, not impressive at all. We kind of expected that with Indy back-to-back road games going against Cincinnati. But Pittsburgh at home loses to New England. Kind of unforgivable. So we're going to go with the Colts here at home. We like them winning that one 28-17 over the Steelers. And next, let's look at week 14 to see how we did. Had a 9-4 week. We had a couple updates. We got burned by the Ravens. We had a 6.5 point line. They won by 6. Bengals, how many people saw the Bears beating the Lions? We did. And we also had the Broncos in an upset. And we had the Bills over the Chiefs. So stick with us this week. Let's see how we do. Hopefully another successful week. Getting back to this week's games, we've got the Broncos going to Detroit to face the Lions. Now, we had picked the Lions to lose at Chicago, not because we're not fans of them. We don't think they're doing well. But playing outdoors and potentially inclement weather at Chicago division rival, it's not a good setup for the Lions. Similarly, with the Broncos, played a great game against the Chargers. Now they're having to play back-to-back road games going to Detroit. We know Ford Field is tough. Have a few concerns with the Lions secondary. We see they're going a little bit in the wrong direction, but we think they should have enough on offense to overcome Denver and take this one 28-24. Next up, we've got the Giants going into Caesars Superdome to face the Saints. Giants has been an inconsistent, disappointing season so far. DeVito's kind of showed some signs and getting that passing attack going. Saints, a little bit of a bounce back win over the Panthers yesterday. We think they're heading back in the right direction. We, we think they actually have the most talent of any team in the NFC South and should win it. Well, so it's going to probably come down to the last week games against uh, division rivals. But for this game, we like the Saints 21-17 over the Giants. Next, we've got the Bears at the Browns in the matchup of two really good defenses. The Bears' defense has really turned it around the past several games. Holding the Lions down to, what was it, 14 points, and then keeping the Vikings down to 10. And the Browns' defense leads the league in almost all categories, and we think the home team's got the edge here. We think coming off that victory over the Jags, they're going to be motivated. They're fighting for playoff position. We like the Browns here in a low-scoring game, 21-17 over the Bears. And before we continue, if you would, just join our channel. And if you like this video or find it useful, like it and then subscribe. We provide weekly NFL picks, highlights, and sports travel. Thank you. Next up, we got the Falcons at the Panthers. These NFC South division rivals. Answer me this. Is anyone going to win the NFC South? It seems like as soon as you get a leader, they get knocked out like the Falcons losing to the Bucks this past week. And we think this is a great setup for an upset. As bad as the Panthers are, you've got a team that's an indoor team coming to Carolina. It's an outdoor stadium. Really surprisingly good pass defense, and with the, the propensity for interceptions, we're going to take the Panthers. Next up, we got the Bucks going up to Green Bay to face the Packers. Not necessarily an advantage for a Florida team going up north like that. And we have been so impressed with both Jordan Love and Baker Mayfield with a surprising upset win over the Falcons yesterday. But it's too much to ignore what Jordan Love has done with the Packers. We think the home field edge is huge. We like them continuing their playoff push 27-20 over the Bucks. Chiefs at the Patriots, and while we were pleased with the outcome, we picked the Bills to upset the, the Chiefs. We must admit that offensive offsides call was very questionable, and looking at Patrick Mahomes' reaction, I've never seen him get that mad. We think the Patriots are going to have to face that wrath, and the bounce-back game is the Chiefs with Mahomes being motivated and with that defense playing well all year. We do respect what the Patriots did against Pittsburgh, but against Kansas City, it's a whole other matter. Next up, we got the Jets at the Dolphins. Dolphins have been playing well for the past several weeks, especially invigorated by the re- return of Jalen Ramsey, that pass defense, which has really been shutting teams down, and we think that continues here. As well as the Jets played against the Texans, that was more about the pass defense than it was the offense. C.J. Stroud actually looked ordinary, looked a little confused in this one. Played like a rookie where he hasn't all year. We like the Dolphins here, 31-17. 
Next up, we have the new Houston team versus the former Houston team, Texans at the Titans. We've got to figure out what's going on with C.J. Stroud in the concussion protocol, but we do believe with their talent, we think that even if he doesn't start, they should be able to win this game. We want to, we want to monitor this and make sure, depends on what the point spread comes out to be, we, we like the Texans. As things stand, if C.J. Stroud starts, we like them here 21-14 over the Titans. 49ers at the Cardinals. And the 49ers continue to look like the best team in the NFL, at least in our opinion. Having beaten, you just beaten the Seahawks for the second time, beaten the Eagles, beat the Cowboys. Going up against the Cardinals, who look like a completely different team with Kyler Murray back. We think this could be one of those dangerous division matchups. We like the 49ers here 27-17. Let's look at that point spread. Anything over 10, we might be tempted to take the Cardinals here for the upset. And next up, we've got the Commanders going to L.A. to face the Rams. We were really impressed with the Rams' performance against the Ravens. Sure, they lost in overtime, but we had predicted they would lose by about 11, 12 points in that one. So coming back home, facing the Commanders with that powerful offense and an improving defense, we like the Rams to continue their playoff push and take, take the game easily, 27-14. And next up, we have one of the weekend's best matchups, in our opinion. Cowboys going at Buffalo to face the Bills in a rematch of those early 90s Super Bowls. We think these teams are very evenly matched, and we were able to watch both games in uh, Week 14 to see how they did. And we were really impressed by that Cowboys pass offense, but more so impressed with that pass defense. With those cornerbacks, Stephon Gilmore just shut down A.J. Brown. Unbelievable. And then if you look at the Buffalo game, as impressed as we were by them beating Kansas City on the road at Kansas City, you got to look at that final play and that penalty and the woulda, coulda, shoulda. It was a little bit of a fortunate slash lucky win. We like Dallas here. And now we've got the Ravens going into Duval to face the Jacksonville Jaguars. What did we see from Trevor Lawrence yesterday? On the one hand, we saw an impressive return from injury, probably too soon. But then we saw a performance that didn't really show what Trevor Lawrence can really do. Three interceptions going against one of the best pass defenses in the league with the Browns. Unfortunately for the Jaguars, now you've got to face Lamar Jackson with that very balanced attack, rushing and passing. We think the Ravens are, are so good on defense, number one in the league. The stats come down a little bit facing the Rams yesterday, but still they're up there. We think the Ravens take this one fairly easily, 27-17 over the Jags. And finally, we have the Eagles facing the Seahawks on Monday night. This game's exceedingly important, right? Seahawks are playing for their playoff lives, and the Eagles now are really challenged by the Cowboys for the NFC East. We think the Eagles are simply too good to lose three in a row. We like them bouncing back here, 28-21 over the Seahawks. That's all for this time. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to sharing our future videos with you.